Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a really great program called Comic Life. Comic Life is a computer desktop publishing program that allows you and your students to create comic books or graphic novels for instructional purposes in the classroom. Uh, it's a marvelous program for you and your students to use if you want to create visually stimulating uh, projects to uh, illustrate the concepts that you're talking about. Uh, for example, you can create storyboards, biographies, uh, history chronicles, procedure guides, book reports, lesson plans, and so much more. It's a really easy program to use, and you'll be amazed at the projects that you and your students can create with, with uh, Comic Life. Now, it's best to do the research on the project ahead of time. Select your topic, collect your information, organize your data, and make an outline of the points that you want to cover. You're also going to want to collect your images and your photographs and store them on your desktop of your computer or in a file in your picture section in your computer. Uh, be sure that you document any sources that you use so that when you create your bibliography at the end of your project, you'll be able to just plug that right into the last page. Okay, so now let me show you how to download this program and how to use it. To experiment with Comic Life, you can download the program for a free trial. To find the website, you're simply going to go up to your Google search uh, bar and you're going to type in the words Comic Life, click on search, it should pop right up. Click on that. And then um, there's some information here that you can read. Uh, as you're reading, you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. Look carefully at the box that says System Requirements and make sure that your computer meets the system requirements. If it does, then you can click right here on Go Ahead and Download the free 30-day trial. Now this will take you to a page that says Thanks for Downloading Our Software. I recommend that you pick this one right here, Download. It downloads very quickly, and then once you've got it on your desktop, you can simply go right over here, click on it twice, and it opens right up. Now the next thing that I would like to show you is this handy help information that's offered to you from the uh, navigation bar here at the top. If you click on Help and go down to Get Started Guide, uh, a guide will load which will show you how to use this program. It answers all your questions about how to make the program work. It's very easy to read, very easy to use, so I recommend you take a look at that. And then another thing that I would like to show you from the help bar up here is this Comic Life Help, which answers some questions uh, in a very quick manner that you might have about how to make this program work. So once you've familiarized yourself with these two help uh, features, then you're um, ready to start creating your first project. So you'll notice in front of you that you have a variety of templates to choose from. And I'm just going to pick one at random. I'll pick this one right here double click on it and you'll see that a plethora of tools will open up in front of you. Now if you look across the top here you're going to see that you have a zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to make use of this one right here because it makes it easier for me to see what I'm working with on the page. Over here you'll see uh, that you can make your text bigger and smaller. In the upper right hand corner you'll see some templates for pages that you can choose from to create your project. Down here on the right hand uh, bottom corner you're going to see your albums and I'm just going to quickly focus in on the album that's got the pictures in it that I want to use for the purposes of this demonstration. Across the bottom you're going to see a variety of dialogue bubbles that you can choose from. This one right here is a tool that allows you to add text boxes to your pages. And this one right here allows you to add additional panels to your pages. And if you look up here in this uh, upper left hand corner, then you're going to see a window pane that lets you see the pages that you're, you've created that you're working on. Alright, so <clears throat> here is my template page. This is a title page and I'm going to start here with this title at the top. If you click on it, you'll see some handles will appear, and the handles will allow you to stretch this box in different directions. <clears throat> and then if you hear this funny stretching noise, that's actually part of the program. It's not your imagination. And then down here in the lower left-hand corner where it says Styles, you can actually change the style of your text to suit your purposes. 
Um, I like this one, so I'm going to go back to this one. <clears throat> and uh, this little uh, item right here is in my way, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'm going to stretch, I'm going to delete this text box here too, and this uh, dialogue bubble, and this panel, and then I'm going to stretch this panel. Uh, just use a handle to stretch it across like this. And I'm going to take my, my text and I can pull it down so that it sits on top of my panel. And if I double click on it, then I can change the text. So I'm going to change my title. You just type in what you want it to be, double click someplace off of the box, and you'll see that your text has been changed. <clears throat> And right now, my text is sitting over the top of my panel, but I can actually move it to the back and put the panel on top of the text if I want to, or I can move it back to the front and put the text on top of my panel if I want to. And then I'm going to go over here to my gallery, and I'm going to pick the picture that I want to plug into this box. And the one that I have in mind is um, <clears throat> this picture of New York City. Here it is. I just click on it and drag it over to my panel, let go, and drop it right into my panel. You'll notice that the picture adjusts itself to fit the size of your panel. But I can also change it, even though I've already put the picture inside of it. And the panel and the picture, well, can, they can be moved together as a unit, and they can also be adjusted in size together as a unit. Now the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to erase this text right here and this panel right here. And I'm going to take this panel and stretch it across. I'm going to select a new picture. I'll pick this one of my twins. I drag and I drop the picture right into the panel. And you'll notice that I have a uh, text box right here, which I can move around. I may move it right down here. Or I could delete it completely. And then I can take this uh, dialog bubble and I can move it around on the page by clicking and moving. This little blue um, donut right here allows me to change the location of the anchor so I could have um, my little boy speaking. Or I could add another dialog bubble and I click on the, this dialog bubble um, and I can move it over here and then I can use the donut to change the anchor so that my little girl is speaking. And if you click on the bu bubble two times, <clears throat> you can also add text. Um, I'm the oldest. I was born five minutes earlier. Okay. And uh, And then if I decide that I want that text box back that I eliminated, I can simply click on this uh, caption right here, double, double click on it, and change my text. And then if I click on it once, I can move this dialog box or this uh, text box anywhere on the page that I want to put it. Okay? So uh, now you've learned how to add photographs and how to add dialogue bubbles and um, how to add text boxes to your pages. Now you can go up here to New Page and you can add another new page if you like. You can pick one of the page templates that's got a variety of panels on it or you can choose a blank and add your own uh, panels to it um, or you can um, you know, select one of the uh, templates that's given to you and notice that every time you add a new page it's going to show up in your window pane on the left hand side. Now after you've completed all of your pages for your project then you can um, go up here to file, choose save as, give your project a name, and save. 
So there you have a basic introduction to the program Comic Life. I'm sure that you and your students will enjoy using this very powerful instructional tool to design storyboards, biographies, history chronicles, procedure guides, book reports, and other classroom projects to en enhance your instructional program. Enjoy!